getting to that 2025 period where Telstra has basically revamped the entire business, how much of the way through do you think that you are right now? Yeah, so I think what's what's great about the results in, in this half, Will, is we're showing continued growth momentum. As you say, off the back of uh, the, the T22 program and that huge transformation of, of the business. And we're, we're really at the start of that growth journey, the start of that recovery of returns after a long period of, of disruption. And so seeing this half of growth with, as you said, income growth, EBITDA growth, MPAC growth, EPS growth, um, you know, I think is incredibly encouraging. We reconfirmed guidance uh, across all of our measures and uh, we, we feel confident in the delivery of the T25 program as well. Now, it was like, like we've been just talking about, it was, it was a solid set of numbers across the board. But, you know, a, a lot of already the analysts are already talking about the expectations that you're going to see income at the, the bottom end of guidance. But considering this is just the it, it's in flux, it's in play. So investors should just look through that and just know that guidance is going to be hit because there was a couple of years previously where that just wasn't met before. Yeah, no, we've, we've reconfirmed guidance and we've reconfirmed guidance for income. As you said, we did call out that we believed income would be at the bottom end, largely driven by uh, slower uh, mobile hardware handset sales. But pleasingly, our mobile service revenue uh, continues to perform incredibly well. And, uh, you know, off the back of uh, in the first half, um, increased international travellers and in international roaming. Um, but also underlying value in, in our ARPUs and, and our pricing uh, across all of our segments and sub-products in mobility.